Welcome to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Dredd. I got another compilation video today from Kendra G. You know, uh, she is very popular in the dating scene and things like that. But this is actually starts off with uh, her meeting with Kevin Samuels, the godfather himself, rest in peace, for the first time. And uh, the back and forth they do. And then her slowly transitioning into uh, the embodiment of actual the godfather himself. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, let's get to the chow. It's chow time. Pink shirts and making them sun husbands. And they are raising the same men that you ladies complain about. Prioritizing sooner or later this old nasty old bad old patriarchy, you're going to have to realize that it's the one thing that's made this world evolve. Yep. Okay. Can I, I don't... <laughs> Look at a Kendra's face. She's like, I'm taking it in. <laughs> I know you probably have to go on somebody else, but there's one more thing I want to talk to you about. If if you allow me, I know it's your platform. Um, the, guy the, the one thing Kendra G is is she's very respectful, at least on uh, Kevin's platform. So and that that is definitely something that a lot of women need to <laughs> to understand. Because I feel like the dying alone thing. I know my uncle died alone. He was a man. My father fought him dead a day after he was. Your father, dead. your uncle died alone. He was what? He was a man, so I'm not sure when you talk about dying alone, it can go both ways. Now, uh, see, see, that's what we start. That's what we started off today, right? That's exactly why we started off talking about. Is that bad for me to say that? Yes, it is. How? Because this is exactly you can't make this shit up, guys. It's always <laughs> this shit up. tight on women. We gotta make it always go both ways. This overgeneralization. See, here's the thing about men dying alone. Men have always died alone. They've yep. called weirdos, hundreds, loners. But men at least have the decency to leave everybody else the fuck alone. They'll sit in their cabin, sit there eating uh, hungry men or Swanson or ramen noodles. They'll, they'll even go homeless. Yeah, that's why they call it mountain men, not mountain women. So what do you think all these men out here are homeless? Show me groups of homeless women. Nowhere in the world where women are by themselves do they not require and demand stuff from the state. Yep. It's killing Japan, it's killing China right now. Women who are unmarried, living in communes or groups of one another, but then they're getting older and older and older, and the state cannot support aged people. It used to be your nuclear family, your extended family who took care of mama and papa and granny and auntie, but now you got adults who are choosing to be independent, making sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year, living in their thirties or forties, doing decent, but they're not living high on the But you don't have no retirement. How you away with one illness or one fall from being broke? This is where I agree with uh, Kevin Samuels and uh, rail against uh, the red pill a little bit. Um, just at least like the red pill content creators, like even if you wanted to be s solo as a man, it's hard. At 70 G, uh, you know, if you're making normal average income, like you're not going to be able to survive really in this world, just like women being alone, making those average incomes aren't going to be able to survive. So you actually need combined incomes from two people. That's like because society has changed so much to where women work and just like how income has spread it out that way. It's impossible for almost one income to get into full retirement. If you look at the normal average income of almost like males and females. So I think the bonding and the pairing up is almost going to be required for most people, or we're just going to have a lot of homeless people at the end of the, at the end of everything. So dying alone, women don't sit around at 50 or 60 years old and not demand government assistance, benefits of some sort. They're demanding something on the system. So men are still supporting you and yep. that is going to break a society we cannot afford it so like it or not ladies uh when we start seeing homeless old elderly women like we see homeless men then women start getting the picture yep because it's starting to happen now the, the homeless sure. women population is actually starting to grow and they are raising the same men that you ladies complain about prioritizing sooner or later this old nasty old bad old patriarchy you're gonna have to realize women not living to their highest potential and saying they want the highest potential yep. you don't want to live to the highest potential but you want the highest potential and honestly like <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm really irritated 
you know, my energy is not going to change. Sorry, Rakita. I apologize. The whole time I was just frustrated and it wasn't you. But I know me enough to know that I, I'm not going to be able to continue tonight. It is a wrap. I think it's more difficult for me to see when I just see black women not living to their highest potential and <laughs> women not living to their highest potential. Yeah, I mean, she, she was very nice, very, you know, I guess I want to say blue pill to the women before. And then as she started doing her show and as time progressed, she became more and more like KS because, like, there's two methods, right? Either she wanted to do what KS did because of it was, you know, making money. KS was trending. The way he went about things was trending. She could have been that way or she actually learned. You know, like some people think that, you know, she's just doing it just to copy KS when she became a little bit more aggressive with things. But I think it was just she got tired. She got tired of constantly telling these women, you know, you can do these things or but or like the things that you want. There's things that you need to do, but women are not willing to do it. So she just kind of got tired through endless amount of women telling her the exact same thing that KS has heard throughout throughout most of his career too. So what's your name, honey? My name is Sherry. Girl, Ooh. look at the lashes. Do you have on two pairs of lashes? She had fucking No, they just big like lashes. this tonight. Girl, we cannot Damn. see your eye. <laughs> My lashes is lashing. Someone's upset. <laughs> I'm dead. My lashes is lashing tonight. They lashing tonight. Women, why do you guys think that looks good? It doesn't even look like a, a normal person. Okay, turn it back around so we can see your face right there. Stay right there. That's your best life. Hey, who's that in the background? That's my friend, K.O. Hey, K.O. You tell your friend about her lashes when you saw her? Damn. <laughs> Shots fired from Kendra. What'd you say? She got lashes too. Oh, uh, they yes. both got the same lashes. Yes. That's why. <laughs> I got on lashes, lashes too. I got oh, the baby. God. I got the baby version to y'all lashes. <laughs> nah, babe, you gotta get the twenty-five. You gotta get the uh huh. I gotta get the what? What is it? Twenty-five inches? No, our lashes just lashing. You being funny. Um, I'm not necessarily being funny. I'm just being, this is the first thing you see. <laughs> I'm not, it's, whether it's funny or not, I can't help but to talk about your lashes. See, this with Kendra, it's the first thing you see, right? When women have their freaking, you know, chesses out and their freaking whatever's out and all that, same thing. That's the first thing men see, you know? And what do you want us to do? If that was the first thing we saw, we were gravitating towards those things now. <laughs> okay, because I'm going to say, dude, is we trying to be funny? I'm trying they to upset. be what I see. They upset. What I see is her lashes. That's what I'm okay. trying to be. Okay, dude, we joined it because of a show you was doing. What you doing? What I'm doing is what I'm doing. I'm asking questions. Oh, I'm about to get there, but your lashes are okay. lashes. Like you said, we're in the dark, so that's the first thing that I saw. Okay, so ask the questions. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> so My rude. therapist told me to stop cussing people out. It's a black people <laughs> because my, my um, what is it called? My temper is hard. Like, I have a all my life, let me give y'all a backstory. I have had a terrible temper all of my life. So I try my hardest not to get there because I have like one of them crazy people. Like I, I, I'm a blow the whole fucking house up since I was a child. So I've been trying to calm my temper. Now, it wasn't that I was trying to diss her. I really wasn't. But there was no way I could not acknowledge her lashes. Like you cannot, I cannot. Like, imagine us men now when we see something like this. We're just supposed to totally ignore it or pretend it looks good. That's even worse, right? <laughs> Do it. There was no way. Now, we could have went on with the questions next. But what you're not going to do is tell me to ask the questions because that's the first way to get me to not ask you the <laughs> questions. Okay? Your lashes were covering your whole entire eye. I could not see your eyeball. Now...
I wasn't trying to clown you. That wasn't really <laughs> Now the you goal. clown him, though. But there was no way I could not bring up them damn lashes. What the hell? <laughs> Child, how could you even see? Her? She yeah. had bangs for her eyes, bro. And someone said they were rude. I don't know if they were rude. They were defensive. Let's just, I, I'll call it what it is. They were defensive because they felt like I was trying to, to joke them. I understood their position. But when you get that way, I'm going to get my way. And then we ain't going to get no way. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Come on. Come on, Sasha. I cannot see. So she fell asleep trying to call like Kendra. I can't see. I might as well be talking with my eyes closed right now because it's the same. The fuck is she doing? Eyes closed, eyes open. Can you see me I now? I see the same. Eyes open, eyes closed. I see the same. Oh, no, don't hang up I with me. I'm getting some light. light. Hold a minute. What the fuck? Okay, can you see me now? Okay, you need to get some light, though. No? Okay, hold a minute. I'm getting some light. Hold a minute. Don't hang up with me, trolling. please, Kendra. I've been waiting so long. Please don't hang up on me, please. Okay, can you see me now? She's trolling for sure. She's trolling. Not. Go stand in front of the lamp. That whole room was lit. <laughs> okay, can you see me now? Okay, is that better? <laughs> <laughs> Just trolling. Just trolling. <laughs> can you get trolled? Back Facebook. <laughs> I can't see your face, baby. Hi. Whoa. What happened? Oh my goodness. Hi. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. I know I just had a surgery. I wasn't. I was like, oh no, I probably shouldn't come home because I just had surgery. But hey, I'm still beautiful. And, you know, I'm great. I'm good. And and yeah, I'm full. I know you're I'm talking kind of fast. Yes, I'm you are. Louisiana, and that's what I do. I talk pretty fast. But your expression, but you know, I need to slow down. So much have to slow down. <laughs> Holy. Um, um. What happened? Well, it was cosmetic surgery. They claim it's a beautiful. It, it looks good, and I had I had a follow up appointment today. Actually, I just had surgery last week. Follow up appointment today, and he, you know, they believe it looks good. So anyway, she's at that hey, age. She's still getting cosmetic so surgery. Really, so what happened? Did you get a new eye? I'm confused. I, I, I didn't know they did an orbital implant. So they raised my. I could probably take it off if you want to. No, 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 don't do no, that. No, no. Get out. Get out. Who's that? I'm trying to find, find you a step daddy. Who was that, your child? That's my baby. How old is your son? I did this <laughs> no, that's my little girl. Time, She's but, uh, eight. Okay. I have, this I is have a eight follow up. Well, seven. <laughs> how, how old are you? I'm 26. You really have seven children? I, I might just need a sugar daddy. How old are your kids? I have an 11 year old, two three year olds, a seven year old, an eight year old. Um, a one year old, and that's only six. I'm missing somebody. Oh, and a five year old, Logan. You have so many kids that you can't even keep track of them at 26. Jesus. Somebody said she. <laughs> I, I, I didn't believe it. If it is true, I didn't look at the Facebook page to prove all of that because I don't. Yeah, 26 with almost eight kids. Kendra can't even believe that shit. Like, come on, people. I feel like being trolled tonight. I'm gonna be trolling for real. I'm over here on the internet <laughs> trying to look for the kids of Fair Daddy. And they took me all the way out. <laughs> because I got seven kids. And we're on the way. So it is real. You're back. Let me say this. I will apologize to you formally for hanging up on you. I hung up on you because I thought you were trolling. <laughs> you don't have to answer this question, but when was the last time you was intimate with a woman? About a month ago. So why can't you be with her? Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't. I just can't. Uh, not really my speed. It was just something. She was an STD. Something to do. <laughs> <laughs> How did STD become something to do? That is not an acronym you want to use for other things. 
<laughs> if that's the case, I have a lot of STDs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and now we have a new do. abbreviation for SED. Something to do. Girl, I'm on the show. Who you talking I'm on the show? To? Huh? Who you talking to? My friend. Let me see her. <laughs> Say hi. That's my whole girl. Hi. Listen, listen, you know what Jay's friend? Yes. You know she had an STD last month. <laughs> the, uh, the throat thing. No. a lot of women need to realize that when you get yourself together and you yeah. really know your self-worth, you will become the head of the table. You want to be the head of the table? I am the head of the table. You are the, the head of the, of the table. table. When they say secure the bag, I am the bag. So with the with the guy, are you still the head of the table? So when women are supposed to secure the bag, they're supposed to secure you? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I would say I'm still the head of the table. Some would think that a man is the head of the table because he provides, but a woman, she's the whole package. If you really look, it's always the woman that's protecting protecting the man, especially spiritually. And I think that's very important to protect, know how to protect your man spiritually. In any relationship, you can go up to any couple, especially a married couple that has survived marriage, and ask them, what has your wife done for you late? He'll be like, oh, you know, it was always my wife saying, I feel this about this person, or I felt this about this situation. And 99% of the time, she was the one who saved him from making dumb choices. A lot of women need to realize that. I'm not saying that women don't help us make better choices, but no. Someone who um, is a full-time parent, not like a weekend parent or something like that. So you want somebody that already has kids that's a full time parent? Yes. Okay. Okay. So you want somebody Reasonable. so does that mean the kids live with them already? It could be either or. Okay. Mm, okay. What else? Parent, they would have to live um, with them. But okay. I'm not really picky. I'm I'm okay with people being from different backgrounds and accepting them for who they are. Respectable people. Um and she has blue. Obviously hair, if I so... have sons, someone that could be a possible decent male role model or male figure. But okay, that, you, are, are you picky when it comes to ethnicity? Does he have to be a certain race? No, I, I haven't dated outside of my race, but I'm not picky with that either. Okay, so he doesn't have to be, um, so he doesn't have to be black? No. Do you have any strong deal breakers? Lying, uh, people that don't take care of their children. Um, I'm not a big smoker or drinker. So I'm not truly against it, but I would prefer not to. Uh, what else? She seems pretty uh, reasonable if you've with her requirements. Been a so murderer far. or serious felonies, like that kind of stuff, obviously. But other than that, no, I'm very open minded. We put limitations on the type of people that we involved ourselves with. Sometimes I, I would get it for like if you don't want to be involved in criminal activity or something like that. But I feel like we should give different people a chance. So okay. she wants a criminal. So no criminal activities. Under the right circumstance, <laughs> no criminal activities. Oh, I was, I was, I oh we should okay. give them a certain chance. I got confused. Like was... No, no, I'm just saying we should allow different types of people. So if I just say, "Hey, I only want a tall guy. I only want this." Da 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 da. What if the person that I'm supposed to be with is actually short or big or whatever, and and they might be good for me, but I overlook them because she of seems sounds reasonable. This is one reasonable. Got way. you. I feel you on that. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? No, but at least be you know be able to take care of himself okay do you have a babysitter all the time you said you go out on a date tonight on a thursday night you got a babysitter on deck i'm taking myself on a date kendra i know but who's oh, yeah kids? yeah my kids yeah i have a nanny mm. you have a nanny i do okay well, she got a nanny so that means you have someone that will allow you to date yep okay she got a nanny does the guy gotta be in detroit no not at all does it have to be in detroit 
Okay. Could he have, you said he could have kids himself, right? Yes. So when was your last relationship? I've never seriously been in a relationship, like a committed one. I've had the situation. Four kids and never been in a serious relationship. Now you want one? Situationships, and yes, I do have children, but it wasn't because they were like committed relationships. So all the guys that you have kids by, you was I know the last one you said you wasn't, it was a one night stand. What about the five-year-old dad? I didn't require a relationship. I just wasn't interested in it myself. I didn't know if I hear this woman. You did not require a relationship before you slept with these men. That seems to be the theme nowadays for a lot of women. That's a problem. And you get problems just like this. You know, four kids. One of her kids was from a one night stand. Oh my God. I, that's what I really wanted. And that is that true for the and even though she's not picky anymore and she's so willing to get, you know, normal guys and normal income type guys and stuff, even those guys are going to have trouble looking at this woman with four kids and no serious relationship this whole time. For the five year old's father, too, I tried. I tried with him, but he was like a mom's boy, like a mama boy. OK. Whatever. And so I'm what, like, so the eight year old, the eight year old father, you didn't require a relationship with him either. No, we tried, we tried. It just we weren't compatible. So what is try? You're supposed to know if you're compatible first before you have kids. People, you're doing it backwards. I mean, because we dated, we dated, and we tried to do the relationship thing, but it just I wasn't interested. So are you oh, interested he wasn't now? Attractive yes, for I am interested in trying a relationship, trying to have a committed relationship because it, I just wasn't interested in it before. So you're just for the streets you know what? before. I understand that to a certain degree, right? Your first child, I get it. But I'm wondering why after you had a baby the first time, why the next two men you had children with, it wasn't at least for you a requirement for a relationship. Yep. Did you say that again? Was the child a requirement for the relationship? No, what I'm saying is, listen, we all we all do life, right? And and nobody's perfect, you know. So it's it's not necessarily a judgment cast, but I'm curious because you're saying you have four children and you're being honest that you didn't require a relationship with any of the children's dads. You have three different dads. So my question is, after you had a baby by your first child's father, the child now is eight, why didn't you get in mode uh before I have another child, I need to at least be in a um, do you think you're attracting the kind of guys you want to date long term? Um, no way. Not really. No way. I must not be. Okay, so with that being said, if you're not attracted to the type of guys you want to date long term, is there anything that you can do to attract those type of men? Um... No, there's nothing that I can do to change. Uh, I think I'm well. Uh, okay. They're not well. Uh, I mean, how about that? I mean, well. Uh, well, there's well men out there. I know. I'm just waiting for him to come. But you just say you're not attracting him. So I was asking you, do you think that you could do something to attract, make any changes? It doesn't have to be your weight. It could be anything. Because I do it doesn't have to be weight. So that, you I think that is a requirement. Guys, but not the guys you want to date, correct? Correct. Um, How was that, Chow? <laughs> some of the women on there, but it was nice to see KS uh, lay some uh, facts for her, and then she's starting to take those facts in, you know. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that, and I'll catch you guys next time. It's Chow time.